Texas. But their second record, Condition Critical, didn't meet with the same kind of success. Now, you know, Catherine, people were wondering if Quiet Riot, that's right, were going to be a one-shot band. Well, the group from L.A. is out to prove that there's still metal in their music with their third album named Quiet Riot 3. What was that? <laughs> It'll be released next month. New additions to Kevin DeVro's band of Mad Men are Chuck Wright, formerly of Jafria, and keyboardist John Perdell. Wright replaces Rudy Sarzo, who obviously wasn't into partying all night. <laughs> Black Sabbath wins our vote this week for the toughest band around. They just started a two-month tour of Europe, despite the rising occurrence of terrorist activity there. Another band on the road right now is Judas Priest. They've just released a new home video package called Fuel for Life. It includes Priest classics like Living After Midnight, You've Got Another Thing Coming, and Love Bite. Ouch. <laughs> also on the video are two songs from Priest's current album, Locked In, and their new tune, Turbo Lover. Skeleton, I don't know about you. I also want to know who his hairdresser is. Now, if your hearing is still intact, tomorrow, catch Radio 1990 for videos from Heart, The Moody Blues, and Simple Minds. We'll also have an interview and profile of the mother who battles demons in the new film, Poltergeist 2, actress Jo Beth Williams. I'm Katherine Kinley. I'm Gary Brown. Ozzy Osbourne ends the fun with The Ultimate Sin, his parody of the TV show Dallas. It's part of the long-form video, The Ultimate Ozzy, being released later this month. GR has nothing on this man. <laughs> Good night. Bye-bye. damages to halls, stadiums, and so forth, and that only the acts that are surefire things have taken on long concert commitments. But there are dozens of bands on tour. The big ones, of course, are Dylan and Petty, Van Halen, Ozzy Osbourne, Ted Nugent, ZZ Top, Bob Seger, Journey, The Starship, Loverboy, Judas Priest, and Lou Reed. But as far as the summer box office business is concerned, even the big acts often need to take support bands along to help sell tickets. The Hooters definitely will help Loverboy. The Outfield will help the Starship. Falcon probably doesn't hurt Judas Priest. And they're both heavy metal bands, so the fans will get a double dose. Dylan and Petty don't need an opening act, and neither did Prince while he was still on tour. But the Fix are helping the Moody Blues, and Peter Frampton isn't hurting Stevie Nicks. Mike and the Mechanics are expected to do well, and everyone is eagerly anticipating David Lee Roth's return to the concert stage in August. Lots more bands are on tour as well. Whitney Houston, New Edition, Joan Armatrading, The Beach Boys, The Cure, Black Oak, Arkansas, and others, which seems like plenty to me. Who is not on tour, of course, who was expected to be, are the Rolling Stones. And you can definitely forget about that for a while, if not forever. Thanks, Lisa. Another band to highlight the strict rules of school is Motley Crue. They, too, took an old classic and made a new hit of it. This time, it was the song Smokin' in the Boys' Room, originally done by Brownsville Station back in 1974. No matter what the year, though, it truly depicts what it's like to have a bad day at school. My side of it. On the team called Intermission. It consists of five live cuts from last year's concert in San Diego, California. Among them, the King of Rock and Roll, Sacred Heart, and Rock and Roll Children. The sixth song on intermission is a new Dio tune, Time to Burn, which features Dio's new guitarist, Craig Goldie. Craig, Ronnie James, and the rest of the band will be on tour for most of the summer and then start working on new records. Jeff Leppard is another band itching to get back on the concert trail. Right now, it looks like their first live appearance in two and a half years will be at the annual headbanging show at Britain's Castle Donington Festival on August 16th. Jeff Leppard will be hitting the stage that day with two drummers. Both newcomer Jeff Rich and Rick Allen will be pounding the skin for the band. Allen, if you remember, lost his left arm in a car accident on December 31st, 1984. Finally, Jufria is also looking to take their music on the road. Right now, they're enjoying a lot of success with their second album, Silk and Steel. I Must Be Dreaming is the new video from the L.A. band. You're in waiting for news from the land of heavy metal. Rock bands, including heavy metal groups, have always been accused of being sexual in nature. Well, it should come as no surprise then that the slogan of a 24-hour telethon being held this Saturday in Toronto is, we want your body, not your money. 
Except this time around, the bands taking part of the drive want your body's organs when you die. That's right, your liver, your kidneys, and your heart. It's all part of an effort being put together by the Liver Foundation of Canada to make people aware of the donor network system. Acts set to appear at the appeal include Motorhead, Sacrifice, Coney Hatch, Sword, and Rick Derringer. That's kind of a fresh idea on the charity scene. A fresh band on the heavy metal scene is Vinnie Vincent's Invasion. Ex-Kiss guitarist Vincent has put together a band in L.A. and their self-titled debut album will be in the stores in late August. Among those you'll find in Vinnie's Invasion, bass player Dana Strum, drummer Bobby Rock. And, uh, let's see, singer uh, Robert Kroon, right? No. <laughs> but his name is Robert Fleischman. Oh. <laughs> and finally, Stephen King's new thriller, Maximum Overdrive, opens this weekend. ACDC supplies the sinister soundtrack for the film, including this tune, Who Made Who?